everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back yet again with another episode of WWE Action Figure Appointment. This is the downgraded series from the WWE Action Figure Surgery Series. However, I mean, it's basically the same thing. It's just not as many things. It's, it's literally a shorter version of Action Figure Surgery, and it's still the same concept. And sometimes we go over the limit, and it's basically a surgery episode anyways. I just try to prejudge it based on how many things we have to do and how easy it'll be and all of those things. So, with that being said guys we have a pretty good episode right here so i thought we'd have enough for surgery and honestly we probably could like if i put some other things in here that i want to do we could have done surgery but due to time constraints we're going to do this action figure appointment and we're still going to have surgery coming up uh tough to say it'll depend if i find anything at retail here soon I found elite 84 the other day but I, I like at my other store it was complete garb and it was just like i guess i could have toy hunted i didn't toy hunt i apologize i will toy hunt soon though and i want to do a thing where we go on like a long road trip toy hunt but I don't want to get too far into that because we get too far and then we go over the limit and then it's a surgery and not an appointment and we fail and I don't want to fail. So let's shut the hell up and dive into it, guys. As you guys can see, we got Umaga Royal Rumble. We got Royal Rumble Stone Cold. We got the Chase variant Hardy. We got the other Elite 84 Hardy in here. Very good stuff, man. Let's get into what we're going to do here today on appointment and let's just break it down, shall we? Starting off with Umaga. Now, there's not a lot to do with him, you know. Oh, God, those ratchet joints make me want to vomit. So you guys can see here, I really love his red elbow pad. Like, this is a bad figure, man. This is an, like, bad as in, like, good bad. You know what I'm saying? So the only problem is his calf right here came backwards. So what I'm going to have to do is pop the calf off, flip the foot, and then reattach it. So it's like this, you know? I just got to flip the foot. So that's all we got to do with him. Nothing too, you know, crazy or anything like that. But I did want to do that here today because it's an appointment. You know, I can get him in here, fix him up, send him on his way. And that is what we're going to do with him. Now, if we get into the other ish that I want to cover, this is some good ish right here. First up, we have our Jeff Hardy right here, man. The Jeff Hardy, the Elite 84 Chase variant Jeff Hardy right here. I spent a lot of time trying to come up with a fix-up or something to do with these guys and try to interplay different Hardys and stuff, and I think I finally got it. You guys, I'm not going to tell you about it. You guys will see what I came up with. It's just, we don't have a lot of red Hardy stuff without switching the head sculpt, you know? Like, I could put this head on another Hardy, but I think I'm going to wait until we get another Chase variant Hardy because I, th I have a really cool idea with this. You guys will see what I'm talking about. And you guys can let me know if you like it or you hate it or whatever, but I think it, it's going to turn out pretty fire. Next up, we do have Stone Cold Steve Austin. We finally got my Royal Rumble Stone Cold Steve Austin in here, so that is something that I'm very excited to do, finally. Uh, we are going to do another surgery episode where we fix up some Stone Colds because I still want to do the arms and the biceps and stuff, so I am going to do some vest swappages with these. I, I, and here's another thing. Look at this head sculpt, all right? You see this head sculpt? It's a good head sculpt, but it's not this head shape. You need this face shrunk and and then it in this face shape. Like, this head shape's perfect. This is where they've stirred us wrong here. This needs to be more like this. Look at that. Me just covering it really makes a difference, man. That's crazy. It's just too wide, and that is why that head sculpt isn't good. Look at him. He looks like a damn alien. <laughs> so we got that. We got Stone Cold Steve Austin in the house. And then finally, guys, we do have Jeff Hardy over here, Elite 84, and this. I think this head on this body would be super fire. And then I'm going to put... Uh, some other things down here. We got some head sculpt choices over here that you guys can tell me which one you like. I, I, I mean, I want to put these arms on a different Hardy, but the only one I'm really thinking I could do it to, I need like an entrance greats Jeff Hardy. Like, we've played around with it a little bit. I think I need one more entrance greats Jeff Hardy, and then I can switch the arms with this figure, and it'd be really sick because it also has the tattoos and stuff. So we'll play around with that. We'll see about that. And when we get the Ultimate Edition, that'll be some more fun Hardy fix-ups we can do. But let's get into this appointment before I have diarrhea. All right, guys. So starting out with the first thing that we're going to do, we do have the white trusty hair dryer in the house, which means good things for everyone involved, Brad. Everyone involved is going to have good things. So what we're going to do first, I guess, is we can go ahead and conduct the uh, the heat method, which I guess would, well, we don't really have to heat up this head because this is interchangeable. So that's awesome. One thing I do worry about with this figure, though, the Jeff Hardy FYE two-pack Hardy Boys figure, is that the, uh, the peg is super long and sometimes some heads don't sit right on it. Like here's an example right here. Elite 71 Jeff right there. Okay, so it actually fits pretty decent. Okay, so maybe I'm just wrong and an idiot. But we're going to pop on the Elite 84 head, so I am going to have to heat this up. And while we're heating that up, I think, I don't know, should I put this pink head sculpt on the shirtless with the tattoo? I feel like that would be super fire, especially because the blue ties into the blue here, but there's no pink. Or should I just go old school with it and go with the Survivor Series Hardy and, uh, you know, he's shirtless, so he can be shirtless and, you know, face paint. 
paintless, and it gives him the tattoo right there. I think that'd kind of be fire. I think I want to do this one. It's not interchangeable, so I can't just pop it off and put this one on there. I guess when we heat it up, I'll pop this off, slide this on, see what it looks like, and then pop it off and then put that on officially. So we can just kind of play with that. I'm trying to think, do we even need it? Oh yeah, Umaga. Can't forget about Umaga's leg. Yeah, yeah he'll, he'll get pissed off at me, Brad. All right, so head sculpts heated up and then the leg heated up, and then that's all we got to do, right? So let's go ahead and get into it. This shouldn't be too, too difficult. Let's go ahead and break into appointment. Alright, I think that's long enough. I don't want to jinx it and all that stuff, but all we got to do with Umaga right here, guys, is literally flip the calf around, pull the foot off, burn yourself alive, and then attach the foot right back on there. So, oh my god in heaven, I feel like I haven't done surgery in a year and a half. Oh god, that is terrible, bro. Why do, why do I do this? Why do I do it? All right, get this, and dude, just slide on there. Is it that difficult? Oh my god. Okay, I think I got it. No! Okay, now I got it, I think. Okay, yeah, I got it. Ugh. All right, next up, let's get to the Jeff Hardy head. Okay, got that. All right, now, uh, I do, I know I want to pop this head over here, so we're going to take a look at this. Hopefully, it sits low enough. All right, that looks pretty yummy. We'll, we'll take a look at that at the, at the end there. All right, this is what I wanted to do. Can we pop this on here and see what this looks like? All right, that looks pretty damn fire. I'm not going to lie. So you guys can let me know. Do you like the pink face paint head sculpt on the Elite 84, which looks really sick? Or do you like the Survivor Series head sculpt like this on here, which I think this is also going to look cool? This is probably my favorite Jeff head they've made. Yeah, that looks pretty damn good too. So you guys just vote down below in the comment section. Let me know. And, you know, we'll do a little polsies and we'll just go from there. But there is the Jeffs. Okay, so Jeff and Umaga actually got completed. Next up, we have our other Jeff. Now, for our other Jeff, this is what I was talking about, man. There's so many different things that we could possibly do, but I think, like, would just this shirt make it look cool? Or, if you really want to make some noise, put the two-pack elite mesh shirt onto this from the Triple H and Jeff Hardy SmackDown two-pack, man. This right here, I think, is going to look excellent, and it's going to look more like a current day. I know it doesn't have the back tattoo on it, but I don't think that's really going to matter that much once we get this on here. I think the belts, you know, the red belts tying into the white face paint with the red face paint with the freaking white sleeves and the black ties into the face paint is again and then the mesh shirt again. It's like, oh, dude, we got something cooking right now. That looks about as clean as I thought it would, Brad. That looks excellent. Of course, he needs mic holding hands, not just signature hands, but that's looking pretty damn clean if you ask me, Brad. So three Jeff Hardy fix-ups. Love it. And then last but not least, guys, we have Stone Cold Steve Austin. Now, for this, uh, you're probably worried about the time, but it's not going to affect us, Brad, because what we're going to do is slide this, the WrestleMania 19 vest. We're going to take that off of here. Take the Royal Rumble. I mean, they honestly could go on either one, but I kind of wanted to put the Royal Rumble jacket or vest onto the Ultimate Edition, and then I wanted to put the uh, WrestleMania 19 vest onto the Royal Rumble Elite there. So that looks very good. I love that. And then last but not least, guys, all we got to do is put the one more round WrestleMania 19 Stone Cold vest onto our Royal Rumble Elite, and we got them. Love to see it. The only thing about this figure is the ab crunch is a little loose and it bothers the hell out of me. And here's everything that we've done today on Action Figure Appointment, man. Really successful day. A lot of figures getting in here and I actually think, you know how we put the, uh, we put this last time on our Elite, what was it? Elite... 67 Jeff Hardy, I think, with the camo sleeves. We put that head sculpt on there, and that looked fire, but I think this may be a little bit better. I don't know. You guys can let me know down below, but that one looks sick. The uh, new Elite 84 Chase with the mesh shirt looks super sick. The two Austins look super sick. I actually think that the gold vest looks better on the Ultimate Edition, and this looks better over here, and it can work for an accurate WrestleMania 19. Just fix that head shape, even though I really like that head sculpt. It's better than this one right here, the little, you know, the pissed off one that everybody uses that they use for like 800 times in a row. And then Umaga's leg is fixed with his foot there, so now he can get back to just Samoan spiking the hell out of people. So I'd say a pretty successful day, man. Not not much else more to say about it. I love the Jeff fix-ups. The blue on the FYE tying into the face paint, actually, I think that was a really, really good idea. Took me a minute to even come up with that. I don't know why, but uh, I think that teal color just looks sick ass on that, man, and it looks a lot better than this other head sculpt I was using, so that works for me, but before we get out of here, guys, let's get into a random shout-out, which is gonna go to my man Michael Davis, who says... 
in quotations, I've never found an AEW chase figure. I've never found an AEW figure at all, period. And uh, that made me chuckle, but also made me upset because I hate that people can't find them, you know, especially after they've been on the shelves for a while now. I wish that everybody could find them. I hope that everybody finds them. But, you know, the distribution on those things has been just ridiculous, man. It's just been absolutely ridiculous. So hopefully they can get a handle on that. And we can get, you know, that all going, uh, you know, get get going and finding and all this, all this stuff. But a huge shout out to Michael, man. That's going to do it for today's video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. I'll see you guys in the next video. And don't cross the line like uh, Mattel when they factory printed my Umaga foot backwards. You cross the line, I've been